Let's create a soft body simulation in Blender. This time, don't delete the default cube. We'll use it as our soft body object. Go into edit mode and subdivide the cube a couple of times to give it more geometry. Switch back to object mode, open the physics tab, and enable soft body. Uncheck goal so the cube isn't trying to hold its original shape, this lets it drop and deform naturally. Move the cube upward to give it some falling distance, then add a plane to catch it. Select the plane, go to the physics tab, and enable collision so it can interact with the cube. If you play the animation now, the cube falls and behaves a bit like a soft cloth, fun, but we can make it better. In the soft body settings, expand the edge section. Enable stiffness to help the edges resist stretching and keep the cube from collapsing completely. Increase the bending value to control how easily the cube folds. Higher bending keeps it firmer and more rubbery, while lower bending makes it floppy like jelly. You can also tweak plasticity, which determines how much of the deformation remains after the object settles. Higher plasticity gives a dented, memory foam look, while lower plasticity makes it spring back to its original form. Finally, in the cache section, set your desired start and end frames for the simulation and bake the result to lock it in for rendering. And that's it, a simple setup that turns the default cube into a soft, squishy object ready for animation or a satisfying physics scene.